Hey guys, today on the bench we have this Ryobi jet fan. This is the Ryobi RY40403. And this 40 volt jet fan is plagued with issues with the coupling. And even though the blower might work pretty decent, the coupling in between the motor and the jet fan fails very often. And as far as I can tell, there's nowhere, no supplier that you can buy the coupling from. Once the shaft just starts slipping on the coupling, it just doesn't work anymore. This one right here is still working a little bit. Over the years, I've worked on a few things to try to, to get around the, the coupling being unavailable. And when I say unavailable, it looks like on a lot of areas where you can buy spare parts, you can get like the motor assembly that comes with the motor and the coupling that's absolutely more expensive than what the blower's even worth. So just ridiculous. So anytime I can find something that may help somebody else, I try to share it. So let's just tear into this blower and just see if we can find a coupling to work. This one's on both sides. And then this will slide off. So after 16 screws, I believe it is, taken out, we should be able to lift the cover off and split the housing. The battery connector likes to slide out. To push it back in. And it's a very simple uh, jet fan. It's just a simple brush DC cheap motor. The 40 volts comes in and goes to the speed control. Of course, the diode for like a snubber or a suppressor. And it's got a turbo switch. I guess it bypasses the speed control and puts straight out. Now we're just gonna get the motor and jet assembly out. Just a little bit of prime. You just have to keep it even because it's actually six line up places and they're thick enough that um, they will get in a bind on you. We just move it up pretty even. It'll come on out. We can remove this front part of the jet fan, not to lose the little silicone retainer for the little spring. Then this part should slide out with the jet fan. and we actually see the coupling that is actually eat up. When we have to remove these four bolts, it actually retains the motor on like the C face of the motor, the front part of the motor. And now we have three screws in here. Just the motor support on the side, really. So there we go. We do have a key here to pay attention to when we're reassembling. We also have a notch here where this is key going back for the motor support. And what I had on here for a coupling is a piece of reinforced uh, fuel line. It's a heavy rubber line that I just used to get by because I couldn't find a coupling. The original style coupling just either, either cracks or splits or just slips. Uh, rounds out and slips on you and the original coupling never lasts long so i got a little bit of life out of the um the hose it's three sixteenths hose it's not your typical quarter inch it was three sixteenths where it would fit on there it was real snug but it still would slip i really couldn't use it in turbo at all or it would squeal it's just a um a makeshift because i bought this coupling as i was explaining a little bit it didn't work out either so i'll be right back i'm gonna see what i can come up with for a coupling we can see if we can put it back together. So the problem is finding any coupling, of course, that a fit from here to the motor. I actually love the little split element type couplings, like the Lovejoy style coupling. Unfortunately, I ordered one of these. I knew the diameter was gonna be close. I was, of course, thinking about it going in here. The problem is you have to have it locked down on this side as well, so even this split coupling will not work because you would have to have to open this big or actually a little bit larger, which is the problem. And that's where your motor is mounted. Your bolts go through and your motor C face is here. So you can't just drill that out 
well, at least I wouldn't recommend doing so. You could try it and maybe put this in the lathe and, and maybe shave off just a hair edge of that Allen socket that might be left protruding after you lock it down. The problem is it's gonna be in here locked down and, I, and that causes a problem. So I've looked extensively and without getting the whole motor as a kit, I hadn't really found a way to get the, the coupling, but I hope this right here is gonna be the answer. So I wanted to share it if it works. It says TFL. You cannot be in a hurry for this thing. It had, it had to come from overseas. It's more like a little hobby, some type of little jet boat prop coupling, but it's basically a little miniaturized uh, split coupling with the element, the element and the actual sleeve. And it is just a fantastic little coupling. And I had to order something around 10 millimeter diameter that would actually be able to fit through when you reassemble everything. So as this part's on here, oops, we see a problem, don't we? So as this part's on here and we had the motor, we should still be able to slide through and connect. With a little bit of luck lining it up, we should be able to go inside. So the catch about this one is the biggest I could order. The shaft size was four and five millimeter. So this is four and this is five. And the problem is we need right at six millimeter and five and a half millimeter. They might all be different depending on how much they've been worn. But um, if I can get a 5.5 .5 and then lock down a flat spot, I believe I'm gonna capture this well. And then of course the motor has a flat spot. I have removed the set screw. And of course I'm not gonna go all the way through. So the set screw is removed. Turn this backwards. It's centered up pretty, pretty well. Cutting fluid, nice pilot hole. Got it running low speed. What you think? Just gonna do the same thing with the other side. I have it locked down, spun a bit backwards. Looks really, really centered. And there we go. I got my set screw back in now. I'm just going to lock this down with my two millimeter hex wrench. I just wanted to show for detail here because during assembly, it's going to be hard to see really what's going on. So everything is completely out with the motor and I got the jet fan here. Just trying to show you because of course our Allen bolts are gonna be through here having our motor connected during reassembly. Then we're gonna have to slide this part on and you're not gonna really be able to see it. But right now, just uh, sliding this on temporarily just to show the detail. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ring on here as well. So now you can see where you gotta line up and this is how this is gonna go. just like so. And that's gonna be it. I like it. It's gonna be a little bit of a trick lining it up, but um, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Just have to get this started. Just remember that the motor leads are gonna go up. So other, other than that, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter about the bolt pattern, but it may matter about your wire length.
we just do want to make sure we pull these down evenly and snug we have to pull the sea face of that motor up against that plastic we want the uh, run out to be uh, true as we can on that coupling to the jet fan we just put these three screws back but we got to make sure we catch that key that little notch there before we put our screws in motor support back in it's going to set like so but now we have to put this in the good thing is we can rotate the back of this a little bit to help us line it up going to get it close That's pretty close. I think that's it. This one has a notch as well right here. At least you can reach in here to the fins and bump it around just a little bit. You just got to get that bearing to line up with the housing. You don't have a way to, to move it because it's got a little bit of movement in it. So let's see if we can get the housing back in here at this point. I probably should have moved uh, slid the coupling up on the shaft just a little bit, but I think I can push this in and get the screws in it because it does have a spring, but it shouldn't be that hard to push. So on yours, you might just want to push the coupling up on the shaft a little bit more than I did. Let's go ahead and try to get the cover back on it. Let's get our wires back in place here. Just want to put a couple screws in it for now. We'll test it. That's probably enough for testing, really. All right, I'm just going to hold this in for now. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but we'll see if it'll run. Oh, yeah. We'll get it back together now. so guys i don't think i mentioned it but t15 security was what most of the bits were in, in my roby 40 volt jet fan and then the four millimeter allen for the motor c face the two millimeter for the little coupling that i bought and had to drill out but hopefully that gets somebody buying a type. If you've been looking for a coupling or a way to fix yours as well, I'll try to have a coupling link in the description if you're interested. So if you like this video today, looking through this little coupling for the Ryobi Jet fan, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.